This year's State of the Sound report comes with grave warnings. It is time to admit that we will not recover Puget Sound to good health by 2020, and the missed recovery goals are most concerned with the endangered southern resident killer whales. We've had a decline in the numbers to the point where we're at the lowest numbers now in 30 years. And when we look out into the future, what we're seeing is those pressures that we're so worried about are only going to be getting worse. Shada Sahandi is Puget Sound Partnerships Executive Director. They wrote the report, which says the group hoped to have 95 Southern residents by 2020. But today, we only have 76. It's really a much lower number than we wanted to see, and it's getting to the point where we're getting really concerned about the viability of this population long term. The main issue is food. The Southern residents primarily primarily eat Chinook salmon, but the report says Chinook salmon are reproducing at a dangerously low level. Now the Puget Sound Partnership will work with Governor Inslee's office on an emergency action plan, and that will focus on habitat. There's just so many aspects to um, the habitat question, but that is probably the biggest issue, I would say, for Chinook recovery is, is all these aspects that add up to a habitat they can live in. Some are still critical that the action won't be aggressive enough, but the partnership promises to do everything possible. As one insider commented, failure is not an option. Can we really hope that three generations from now we will still have these whales? I, I think we need to do more than hope. I think we need to decide because we're at the point where it's going to be action and it's going to be decisive action that it will take. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.